We're gonna start with our uh, distance spikes. These are gonna be those spikes that are made for the mile on up. So if you're more of that distance runner doing the longer events, this is gonna be what you're gonna go for or something like this. So the uh, main thing we wanna look at when you look at distance spikes is that it's gonna have some cushion, but not too much cushion. So you see it's gonna have a little bit, um, definitely gonna have some underneath you while you're going around making all those laps around the track, doing, all, doing the two mile, the mile uh, for college, people, the 5K, the 10K, the 3K, all those events are gonna be in the distance category. Um, on the bottom, you're not gonna to see too aggressive of a plate. Now, when we talk about spikes, um, we talked about earlier, we talked about getting up on the toes, getting up more into that position to go fast. You're not gonna see that as much in distance spikes. The idea is they're just gonna be much lighter than your trainer. So there's gonna, you're gonna put those on, feel like nothing on your foot, and you're gonna be able to you know, hit those quick laps around the track as you're going around and around and around. So um, you're gonna definitely still have a harder bottom on it, but it's not gonna really put you up on your toes like the mid distance and sprint spikes. Um, you'll also see fewer of the spike implements because you don't need as much grip, but you still wanna have some grip on the track. So for instance, this is the New Balance 5000, and there's some other great options as well. Now we're onto the sprint spike. So this is gonna be all on your toes, all on the forefoot, all out effort, 50 up to the 400 hurdles, these are gonna be your most versatile spikes. You're gonna use these in those short sprints, the long sprints, the hurdles, and then you can also use them in the long jump. So with a lot of these, you're gonna see your, your heel, your arch, your midfoot, that's not even gonna to touch the ground. You're all gonna be up on your toes. It's all about getting up, getting, getting out, and getting speed going. So um, very aggressive, hard plate in the forefoot. Um, that plate's also gonna extend throughout the whole foot. But as I said, you're only gonna be making contact with the toes. Definitely out of all the spikes in the running category, you're gonna have the most spike implements. I'm um, gonna give you great grip in the forefoot. That way you won't have to really flex your toes to get that grip. The spikes is gonna do that work for you. Um, no cushion to them, not like the distance and mid-distance spikes. You don't need that cushion. You're not gonna be using these as long. Um, it's gonna be a really hard, firm feel. It's gonna blast you off the ground. You're gonna get that speed. So 100, 200, 400, 110 hurdles, 300 hurdles, 400 hurdles, the list goes on and on. These are gonna be your most versatile spikes. Time to talk about those mid-distance spikes. These are gonna be those in-between races, the 400, the 800, and you can still wear it for the mile. Um, the idea in all these is you can see you're gonna be more up on your toes in those distance spikes. Definitely gonna be a harder plate, a more aggressive plate in the forefoot and the midfoot, because um, the more on your toes you are, the faster you're gonna get, the more turnover you're gonna get. And that's the whole idea behind a mid-distance spike. Um, still gonna have some cushion, but definitely less than those distance spikes, a very little amount, just to cushion some of the blow of the foot hitting the track. But at the end of the day, you're going around one, two, at most four laps. Uh, for any mid-distance event. So it's gonna be important to get something on your foot that's gonna give you that support, but is also gonna let you and allow you to get enough of speed so you can get those great times. Um, you're definitely gonna see more spike implements in these, and they're all gonna be pushed more in the toe area and up into the forefoot. Once again, that's gonna be where the foot's hidden, in the forefoot, getting up on those toes and being nice and quick and fast. Not as much as a sprint spike, but a lot less than that distance spike. So if you're that middle caliber athlete, someone who's got a lot of speed, but also has some good stamina, middle distance is the way to go.